Here's an overview of the LED clusters. They're really interesting. They almost look like a solar oven, this device here. Need to take the lid off to minimize the glare, but it's uh, yeah, really cool. I've opened the unit up. Oh, a few things are missing, I think. The photocell is here. Um, some wires have disconnected here. Need to work out which wires go where on this device, but um, here's some more information on the nameplate. Kim lighting, 140 watts. And you've got the fantastic electronic ballast here. It looks like somebody marked a cross on there, so I think that's probably failed. But um, I'm just going to experiment with this device because these LEDs are quite cool the way they're set up in this thing and uh, see if I can drive them with DC somehow externally. So the wires go into the LEDs, the D's, the purple and the grey, and the white and then uh, black. Uh, so they, these wires, they're connected to the LEDs. Oh, that might be a feedback system or something. These are thinner than those. Purple and grey is on this plug here, and that is a different plug here. Oops, there we go. All right. Pull string. I'm going to plug it in and see what happens. Oh, I've got a large LED cluster here. My garage, and I'm just going to have a look at it. Um, it's quite an interesting device the way they've made it. Uh, the glass copper is legible in a clip here at the top, so you can have access to the LEDs to clean it up. The LEDs appear to be in clusters of like 15s. And they've got the mirror cases around them, these uh, mirror type of things. It's, uh, Plastic material, they got a heat sink at the back. I thought a couple of mirror things here to give a type of focused effect here. Got some labels here, I just can't read it, but I'll try to get the camera to capture it. And I get an angle from here. It's a big monster. Click it back in. Click. That sounds pretty solid. And the capsules are inside. I've connected the device up. I'm just going to plug and play and see if it works, yay or nay. Um, Photocell is right up wall. Oh, yeah, it works. Half of it works, but that's all right. And look what the loading is at the device. There's obviously an issue somewhere, but it still goes. So the loading is about 128 watts. Not as bright as I expected, but it's cool. Just a bit in point anyway. Look on the other side. Oh no, they're actually all going. Oh fuck, that's amazing. I'll let it sit on for a wee while. Because it's pretty bright outside, it's a very hot day here at the moment. Show you, the sun is out and it's bloody blue skies. Back to the lights, so the whole flipping thing is working. I think they, whoever put it in, they've wired it up wrong. That's a good score, it's actually quite intense this light. The camera doesn't do it justice. Um, i just let it cook for a wee while. I'm um, just curious, because the wiring colours are different on the thing as well. It's American colours, uh, white, black and green. So I think black is active in America, white is the neutral. This is not connected at the moment. The load is still steady. So the device stores 0.55 ampere, 128 watts. Nameplate says uh, 140. So I'll let it cook for a wee while. Look at the watt hour meter, we'll see how fast it spins.
Thank you, quite pleased that this device works. Now the meter is just uh, cruising slowly, 245.6. We'll capture the energization process of this device and not turn it off. Okay, this light is bloody bright. De energization. So then the pixel glow of energization. Curious how this thing is gonna show an area but not which I will document definitely. So the ballast is uh, I thought first when I looked at this ballast initially I saw the cost there but I've been marked 120 it cost 240 and 277 so it's obviously for three different voltages while well, 277 is typical American commercial voltage so yeah I'm gonna let this cook for a while and see how it performs. I've just uh, closed the garage door. I think lightning output is disappointing. This is just uh, that's 128 watts of light. So I'm going to turn a couple of fluor tubes on and look at the difference. They give uh, uh, 340s. They give a lot more light, huh, I think. So uh, might be a reason the output has dropped of this device but yeah it's um, still an interesting unit to document I'm sure some uh, street light collectors uh, like these type of units the rod hasn't shifted much 127 watts 0.55 amperes Thanks for watching.